As we grow our business and technology consulting practice, I travel both in the U.S. and Canada, meeting a variety of lenders in multiple industries. Over the years, I've noticed that almost every lender I meet has a different interpretation and definition of the term loan origination, where it starts, the various stages in the process, and where it ends. Considering all viewpoints is important to take a holistic view of the origination's life cycle. So irrespective of the loan type, whether it's a loan, line of credit, and a lease, or whether your approval process is manual or automated, lenders have and are proud of their quote-unquote secret sauce when it comes to loan origination. After all, it's what makes them stand out from their competition. I feel like there's critical components of the entire loan origination process that can be broken down into seven stages. The first step is pre-qualification. During this stage, the potential borrower will get a list of items they need to pull together to submit to the lender. This is typically going to include current employment information, including hourly wages, salary, uh, total household income, payment history, bank statements, tax returns, things like that. Once this information is submitted to the lender, it's typically processed and a loan pre-approval is made, which allows the borrower's application to continue through the process. So second, there's a loan application. In this stage of the process, the borrower completes the loan application. Sometimes the paper application is completed, but more often than not today, an electronic version is completed and submitted. New technologies allow completing the application online or through even a mobile application, and all that information is collected and can be tailored to a specific loan product. Third, the application is processed. So when the application is received by the credit department, the first step is to review it for accuracy and completeness. All the required fields have to be filled in, otherwise the application is going to be returned to the borrower or the credit analyst will have to reach out to the customer to procure the required missing information. Depending on the technology employed by the lender, a sophisticated loan origination system or LOS can automatically flag files with missing required fields and return it to the borrowers to rework. Depending on the organization, exception processing might be part of the process or manual loan processors can review each application for completeness. Fourth we have the underwriting process. When an application is deemed complete, the underwriting process begins. The lender runs the application through a review of a variety of components such as credit score, risk scores, and many lenders will generate their own additional unique scoring criteria that are specific to their business or industry. Sometimes this process is fully automated, and other times it's manual, or sometimes a combination of both. Next is the actual credit decision. Depending on the underwriting process, the application can be approved, denied, or sent back to the applicant for additional information. A denial may be revisited if certain parameters are changed, such as reducing the requested loan amount or revising interest rates to lower payments. Next, there's quality control. Since consumer lending is highly regulated, the quality control stage of the, of the origination process is very critical to lenders. Typically, the application is sent to a quality control queue where a final decision and other critical variables can be analyzed against internal and external rules and regulations. This is essentially the last look at the application before it goes to get funded. And finally, there's the loan funding process. Most consumer loans fund shortly after the loan documents are signed, although products such as second mortgage loans and lines of credit may require additional time for legal and compliance reasons. Good LOS systems can track funding and ensure that all necessary documents are executed before or together with the funding process. I've had the pleasure of meeting with lenders that are strategic, analytical, aggressive, quality focused, care about their customer, and embrace technology upgrades such as new loan origination software, or as I said earlier, LOS. Um, these are lenders that excel in their industry verticals. Here's a quick list of features and benefits that should be part of your LOS. Receipt of applications through multiple channels such as the web or fax. Submit and receive credit bureau information online. Calculation of user-defined credit scores with an internal scorecard, using a weighted average on criteria from both the application and credit bureau data. Make credit decisions automatically or manually. Capability to rescore each application separately. Interface with multiple collateral asset valuation guides and product identification number checks plus identification number check digits. Promotions capabilities such as reduced rate or no interest for a period of time. Provide completion checklists to user enhanced processing and reduced training. Automatically transmit decisions back to the dealer, originator, or applicant. Link the origination data to the funding process and the servicing module in real time. Process checks through an external accounts payable system or send ACH payments directly from the system. Build a customized underwriting workflow based on user configurable parameters for a paperless flow of information. 
upload scan documents to an application, and finally, generate reports on applications based, status, based on status, dealer, user, or underwriter. I hope you enjoyed this post. Please feel free to reach out to me with your comments or thoughts by sending an email to me at andrew.mcdowell at decisiveedge.com. Thank you.